Hi, my name is Gage, and I'm going to walk you through your recruiting profile. Our platform is a matchmaker for college coaches and high school recruits, and the first step is to find schools that fit you both on and off the field. If I go up to the top navigation, I click on College Matches. Here we have a little questionnaire to help cut down the universe of schools from 1600 to, if I click the left option for the first five, in this case, 14 matches. If I come down to the bottom and see my matches, I can go down on the left-hand side and filter the results. So for example, by ACT and SAT test score, GPA, there's a particular conference I'm interested in, and also majors. I can click two majors that I see, or if I'm looking for something more particular, I could type in arrow and click on aerospace and see that that's under engineering. If I go up to the top and click on Harvard, I'm going to peruse down this profile, but before I do that, I'll see a little match score and a meter on the right. What that's doing is telling you how well we think the school fits you. And if I click on that, I'll be in the college recommendation sections of a profile. If I come down, you can see the criteria we're using, the ACT and SAT test scores, GPA, majors of interest, are those offered by the college, athletic level, which you can set, and college size, cost, and distance from home. From there, we're going to curate a list of schools that we think fit you. If you like any of these schools, you can click on the blue plus sign, and that's going to add that to your college bookmarks. Now, if we hop back to where we were before on college profile, I'm just going to peruse down the college profile and just talk about what's on there. So here, we have a student body breakdown to start, things like student faculty ratio, followed by team road trips, how easy it will be for the parents to see you play, a list of commits, followed by events run by the college coaches like clinics and prospect days, videos about the program. So here we can see four videos. Oftentimes you'll see interviews with coaches as well as players. If I come up to the top, I click on the videos tab and see more documentaries here, things like locker room tours, day in the life documentaries. These are great things to reference when reaching out to the college coaching staff. If I come back down to where we were before, I'll see a virtual tour of the campus. If I click here, you'll see it's a beautiful day in Cambridge. Welcome to Cambridge. Further down, we have LinkedIn information, where grads live, where they work, what they do. The key here is that you want to make sure you're reaching out to the college coaches and referencing something specific to the school. Let's say that you're interested in entrepreneurship. A great message would say, hey coach, I'm super interested in entrepreneurship. I see that's the third most popular thing that grads do. Further down, we'll have niche grades around uh, student life, professors, and overall college experience. And then we have academics. So here you can see the ranges as well as what should be bell curves, but obviously Harvard skews to the right. But this is the incoming class data that we're mapping your scores against to create those curated match scores we looked at earlier. Further down, we have some links to free ACT and SAT prep, followed by actual admissions data, who got in, who didn't, what their GPA and test score was. And here, you can hover over and see class rank. Then we have majors by popularity, followed by financial information. So the net price is the sticker price less financial aid. I like to use Harvard because most people think of the sticker price here of around 70000 In reality, because of a large endowment of $37 billion, the average incoming freshman at Harvard is paying $17,000. And if you have a household income of $110,000 or more, well, in that case, you're looking at $42,000. But that's especially important given the scholarship reality at Ivy League schools. Further down, we have student debt information. So on average, there's $6,000 of student debt in the 50th percentile, the 90th percentile, $30,000. And after a grace period, when students start the repayment, they typically have $7,000 of principal which comes out to a monthly payment of $65. Further down, we have salary information. So 10 years after you enroll or six years after you graduate, of which 84% of students graduate on time, how much are students making? So in the 50th percentile, that's 90,000. In the 90th percentile, that's 250,000. And from there, we can back into a payback. And you can see how to compare that across all the schools in your dashboard. Here we have social media information. If you see things like community service project, that's a great thing to reference when you reach out to the college coaches. Campus safety information, followed by Carnegie classifications, and then all their teams in their conference, as well as all similar academic schools as reported by Harvard. So you can click through to these college profiles and find the schools that fit you both on and off the field. When you see a school that you like, go ahead and click on the top bookmark. Okay, that's gonna add that school to your target list, which if I click here, you can manage that. So here, again, we're back in your dashboard. And again, this is a recruiting profile. It's actually a picture of me when I was 13. 
and this is a list of all the schools that you're interested in. This is not visible to the college coaches. It's only visible to the other club coaches on your staff if you sign up through a club team. Here, you'll be able to tier the schools, tier one, two, tier three, based on how interested you are. And you can also get feedback if you sign up through a club, as far as if your club coaches think that school is a safety, a great fit, or a reach. You can also click here to star if you've completed your profile, and I'll walk you through that in a second. That'll feature your profile directly in that college coach's dashboard. If I click here and expand out, you can see how you can put notes in here and really collaborate with your club coaches if you sign up through a club team or just organize all your thoughts about the school in one place. If I click one over to the analysis tab, you can see here we have some insights behind the colleges. So we'll show you how popular those colleges are on the platform. Here are how many views they get, how many messages from recruits. Further over, you can see student life, professor rating information. Here's again the debt, salary, and payback information we saw before. We can see that this school has a payback around seven years, whereas above and below it's under four. So a big difference there. Further, you can see retention, how many students come back for their sophomore year, graduation rates, etc. So obviously you can filter this information as you start to get test scores. You can see where you map out on this list of schools. So again, just giving you some further insights into the schools. And there's three sections here, as we touched on, that was analysis. Here we have recommendations. As you update your preferences, you can refresh and I'll change those. And again, clicking here is the same as the blue button on the top of the previous college. It'll add that to, and I'll just go ahead and click one, to your bookmarks. And now you'll see Binghamton added to your list. That's again, ways to build your college list. The last way I would say is if there's a school you want to hop to directly, you can type that school here at the top and hop directly to his profile. And you can see it's 70%, it's a pretty good match. And you can go ahead and bookmark that college. Now the inverse of college matches is find recruits. So that's where the college coaches will go and find players that fit their recruiting needs. Every recruiting class is like a puzzle and the college coaches are looking for certain pieces and here they can be very targeted in what they're looking for. So for example, we looked at Ivy League school earlier, they could filter by grades, maybe they need a 21 lefty attack who's six foot, they can find that player as well. All the recruit profiles here are ranked bronze to gold based on how complete they are. So just like any business would wanna be on the first page of the Google search results, you wanna make sure you're showing up first to college coaches who are searching for players in the recruit finder. And the way to do that is to complete your profile. And I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. If I click in the top here to the speedometer icon, that's gonna take you to your dashboard. And if you just join, you're gonna see here a little progress bar to go from bronze to gold. And you'll see what's completed with a little green check mark after. I can see here that academics is not completed, so I could just click to this blue link. It'll take me to exactly that section on the profile, and I can go ahead and put in, for example, an ACT score. The important thing to remember here is that you don't have to complete every single part of academics to complete that section. You just have to add in some test scores, a transcript, or maybe some honors and awards, links to documents, etc. If I go back to where we were, and I'm just gonna scroll up to the top, I'm gonna not save, and then I'm just gonna peruse down the tabs on the left-hand side. So first is messages. Here you'll be able to see when the college coach opens your email and clicks on your profile. Again, we recommend that you get video in your profile and make sure you have some information complete before you reach out. Then we'll have an activity feed that'll show you in real time as schools are being bookmarked for you. Here you can see feedback from your club coaches, if college coaches are adding your information to their database, and messages back and forth. Profile info. So that's pretty basic. This is just information about yourself, uh, bio, social, etc. Key thing to keep in mind here is that profiles that show uh, the player's face instead of kind of a zoomed out shot playing the game, uh, those get more clicks. Profile videos, very important to remember, uh, you have unlimited video uploads for your profile. So in a YouTube Vimeo link, if you have a file, you can go ahead and drag and drop that here and add that to your profile. When you do message college coaches, it breaks out your video right away. They want to see uh, that you have video. Oftentimes they'll click to that video first, and if they like that, then they'll navigate to your profile to learn more about you. So again, having video is really important. Uh, if you don't have video of yourself playing lacrosse, um, even video of you playing another sport is better than having nothing. If you do sign up through a club, then a professional highlight video is included with your membership. So if you come down on the left-hand side, 
you should see that you have a one highlight video credit. Next we have recruit info. So this is obviously the key information the college coaches are looking for. These college preferences, again, those are used to help build those recommendations, not visible to the college coaches. Full bio, social, here are the teams that you're playing for and your coach information. Oftentimes based on the compliance, i.e. the division of the school in your graduation year, the college coaches are likely going to want to follow up with your coaches about you. Here you can set athletic level that you're targeting. Again, not visible to the college coaches. Will be visible to your club coaches if you sign up through a club. Here you can see academics. You can put in stats about yourself. Majors of interest, again, another matching criteria, seeing if the majors you're interested in are offered by the school. And then parents, you can sign in with your email and the player's password. So the parent email here is maxdatabro.com. If the player profile password is I love lacrosse, then that parent can log in with their email, maxdatabro.com, and the password I love lacrosse. But keep in mind, the college coaches really want to communicate with the players. So they can definitely tell when the email is written by a 16 or 18 year old versus a 45 year old. So just keep in mind while parents, you can definitely you know peruse and look at the draft email. Uh, you wanna make sure that the players are taking the initiative on the platform. And hopefully at the end, you'll be updating your commit status. If I hop back up to the top, I'll click on the recruit calendar. And this is really important. This is where the college coaches, after watching video on your profile, this is gonna let them know where they can come and seek you out in person. So keep in mind that there's a limited number of events, limited recruiting calendar, um, limited number of coaches. So they can't be everywhere. Sometimes you'll go to these tournaments and there could be multiple locations, there could be 12 fields. You know, college coaches don't just pull up a chair at the first field. They have a list of teams and players that they wanna see in advance. And you wanna get on that list. And the way to do that is to proactively reach out to them, express your interest in the school, share your video and information about yourself. And if they like what they see, hopefully they'll come see you in person. And again, they can't do that if you don't put the events you're going to. So if I come down here, I could search for, for example, a trilogy event and click that that's what I'm attending. If I go one down, here one college bookmarks. We talked about this already. If you want to come down to the bottom, you can download this into a nice Excel file or show you all those schools you're interested in, their academic ranges, as well as yourself at the top. And let's say that you're going on a college road trip. You could open this up into a map and see for this player, you'll probably be on you know, I-95. But again, trying to see schools that you may be able to visit in person. If I go down to the video library, this is just going to show you film that's shared with you uh, by your club or film that you've purchased on the platform. Uh, again, you don't upload film to the video library. If there's film that you want to use that's not in the video library, you'll upload that in the Highlight Video Builder. Uh, but again, this is film that can be shared with you by your club, but also with college coaches, which would put your roster information below. Here we have a visual image that will become, uh, again, in the video library dynamic or interactive this summer so that you will be able to tag your teammates in plays that you see and also up and down vote uh, plays as well. If you come down here, you can see where you can download video or play a video that's in your video library. I'll hop down to the highlight video builder. Now the highlight video is really important. That's why for club partners we include it. If you need to buy one, you can go down to the bottom and see the highlight video link. Uh, and we have a tutorial that walks you through that as well. Uh, key here is you want to put the information about yourself. Um, this will show up on your slides. This information gets pulled in uh, from your profile as well, so it's consistent. And if you want to click here to the bottom, you can see examples of completed highlight videos. So after you set up your slides, and again, you can decide if you want your email and your phone number to be public, which slide you want to use, and you can update that, then you're going to want to migrate to the media tab. On the media tab here, We'll take an image of yourself and edit it up so that you're in color and the rest is black and white. Uh, we have some options for background music. These are actually crowdsourced by the college coaches. To be honest, most of them mute the music. Uh, but these are songs that we all have the rights to, so they're not going to be any ads or anything over your videos. That's a common mistake that players make. Uh, they put a popular you know, artist on you know, Drake or Jay-Z or Rihanna on their highlight video, and by the time they send it to college coaches, there's either ads or it's been taken down. So uh, again, if you want, you can select a song there or just no music. Social media, if you follow our social media, you can see that we'll take your highlight video, cut it up into kind of your best play, you know, match the goal or whatnot to the music and uh, tag you. So if you want to put that in, 
that's pretty popular. A lot of the younger assistant coaches are looking on social media as well. Here, if there's additional clips that you want to include that aren't in the video library, you can go ahead and drag and drop them there. You don't have to cut it to 11 seconds before you put it in. It can be an entire game film. Uh, and so let's say it's a 45 minute game. On the next tab, that's when you'll let us know there's 11 seconds that you want to use. Now, if it's a small clip and it is already 11 seconds, you can click to make sure you include the entire clip. Again, make sure you let the video upload completely on that media tab so that way it's going to show up in the drop down here of source file. So here you can choose from additional clips, so that's where we just saw goal, or from your video library, etc. You're just going to let us know the start and the end time, and then we'll cut it up, do the player isolation, etc. You want to make sure you do know who you are so that our editors know who to isolate. And it's always good to say who your competition is. Competition against elite teams is going to be given more weight in the eyes of the college coaches than just beating up on a crosstown rival, you know, 20 to 2 in a high school game. So keep that in mind. The other thing is move your best plays to the front. If you see this up, down, and arrow, you can shuffle the order. Don't assume the college coach is going to watch the entire highlight video. Just like you don't read every article online, the college coach you know, may stop watching after four or five plays. So make sure you shuffle the order to move your best plays to the front. Another thing that's very important is making sure you have diversity of play. So let's say you're a tack player. Don't just show the same roll dodge from behind the cage. Make sure you show yourself you know, shooting in space, uh, feeding, riding the clear, ground balls. Again, they, don't, they want to see a diversity of plays, not the same play over and over. Another thing is making sure you show the play develop. Sometimes highlight videos will be a little choppy, maybe four or five seconds instead of seven seconds letting the play develop. Let's say there's a play you cut across the crease, catch the ball right away, turn and shoot. Don't show that last second when you're on the doorstep turning and shooting. Show yourself identifying that cutting lane and then going, getting the ball and turning and shooting. That way the college coach can see the play develop. When you're done, just come to the bottom and click save and continue. Next, on the review tab, you can preview your highlight video before you submit it to our editors. Here you can see your info slides to make sure the information is accurate. Also your cover photo, music toys, and social media. A lot of our highlight videos you'll see on social media, so you definitely want to make sure you put that in there if you're comfortable being tagged. We'll cut it up for social media as well and promote it alongside our media partners, and a lot of assistant coaches are looking there for plays as well and players to recruit. You can also preview all of your clips before you submit them to us, so the exact seven seconds in this case. Here, the time code is from 23 to 30 seconds, and on the left you'll see that exact play to make sure it's exactly what you want. You can also see that this play has been selected for a replay, so we'll do a slow motion replay. If you want to edit that, just come down here and click on edit. Now, after you preview all your clips, which again, you do have to play all of them to make sure they're exactly what you want, then you can come down here and submit your highlight video. That's what sends it to our editor. So just make sure you click this button. That way we have possession of it and we can start working on your video. Most videos are completed in 24, 48 hours, but keep in mind, we will notify you by email and the player email when it's ready. So you don't need to email us to ask for status. If there's something wrong, we'll reach out to you uh, and you will be notified. If I come up here to the top and click on the status tab, you'll be able to see that it's in progress or that it's complete and when it's finished you can download an mp4 of your highlight video or see the YouTube link here. If I come further down the left hand side we have the billing section. So here if you sign up as an individual you'll be able to manage your credit card and other information. If you sign up through a club then obviously your membership is covered through the club and you'll be able to see which team you sign up for. At the top here you'll see a public profile link. Again you can share that directly with college coaches However, we do recommend you message through the system, which we'll touch on in a little bit. Um, but if you are doing a questionnaire, for example, on a college coach's website, you can submit that link and they'll be able to access that. We do obviously recommend you keep your profile public and you allow endorsements so that coaches can endorse your profile. Further down, a lot of the recruits obviously keep this information protected as far as your contact information. So the college coach needs to log in to access that and keep their academics tab and event calendar public. Now it's important to keep in mind that even though your academics tab is public, college coaches always have to log in to see your transcript and your test score. Further down, you'll see information relevant to recruits who sign up through a club. This just allows the club coaches to collaborate with you on your target list and, for example, maybe update your player number if they're sharing film with college coaches. Now, on the left-hand side, you'll see some helpful links as well. So if you don't see that you have an endorsement, uh, if you click there, it'll take you to that section to add that. Obviously, if you sign up through your club link, 
and again that means you have a team association on your profile and I'll show that to you in a minute then you should have a highlight video credit right away now if you come up to the top and click on your username you can go to settings the dashboard but also click on your public profile here on the public profile you'll see integrations with popular coach databases again this is your profile link you can share that directly with college coaches and this is where they're going to come and evaluate your information again you have unlimited video uploads whichever video you set is first in your profile videos tab is the one that will show up big here um, so again here's one that's obviously built through the system but again there's unlimited video uploads if you have a highlight video you've already made you can go ahead and get that in there here on the left hand side you'll see that team association now if you intend to sign up through a club and you don't see a team association on the left hand side then you want to email us at support at connectlax.com and we can sync your existing profile to your club so you don't have to start over or re-enter any information. Further down you'll see athletics, awards, your coaches, academics. Obviously after the college coaches watch your video they're going to want to figure out which events they can see you at so it's very important to fill out your recruit calendar. Further down recruit relationships and then endorsements. Again those could be from high school coaches, private instructors in addition to your club coaches. When your profile is ready and you build a list of target schools, then we can start messaging the college coaches. So if you click here on the speedometer icon and you come down to bookmarks, here we'll see the schools that you're interested in. And if I click on the first school, I can go ahead and click message coach here on the right hand side. This is going to go open up an email to these college coaches. So here you can decide which coaches on the staff you want to message. I strongly recommend you include all the coaches on the staff. Keep in mind that assistant coaches and recruiting coordinators, those are most likely the coaches to look at your video and then advance you up the, to the head coach. Further down, if you do sign up through a club, you can copy your club coach on that. That's recommended. Likely what will happen, especially depending on compliance, so your graduation year and the college's division, is that they may continue the conversation based on this initial email that you sent. Here we rec have recommendations as far as what you may want to say in your subject in your message body. If you want to attach a transcript or anything else, you're welcome to do that. Here, if you click view example, you'll see what this email is going to look like. So it's going to look exactly like you sent it from your inbox. It doesn't have a lot of, uh, so for example, from a Gmail, Yahoo, etc. It doesn't have a lot of formatting. So that's what the college coach is like. And we'll have all your information here. But here it's going to break out your video. Keep in mind, a lot of coaches will click straight to the video. And then if they like what they see, they'll go to your profile. So video, again, very important to have that in your profile. Uh, especially before you start reaching out to the college coaches. Here, they'll be able to see your coaches that gave you endorsements. And then this is where you'll see that you've copied your demo coach. And what will likely happen is the demo coach can click here to follow up with the college coaches about you. Likewise, a college coach could follow up with the demo coach about you and just continue that conversation based on this initial email that you sent. If I close that out and come back down here to the bottom, you can see we have an example email template, so things to hit on. Again, you really want to express why that school is a great fit. Even putting the name in the subject line is helpful. You don't want to blast message the college coaches. Again, the supply and demand, there's a lot more recruits messaging a limited number of college coaches. So you want to make sure your email stands out and is personalized to the school. And then it always helps to add that you have a highlight video in there for them to look at. So if you want to peruse this and use this as a template, you're welcome to do so. Now, as a rule of thumb, there's six really good times to reach out to college coaches. So before the summer, before the fall, what events you're attending. After the summer, after the fall, if you have a new highlight video. And after the spring and fall semester, if you have a new transcript and an update on grades. You don't want to badger the college coaches, but you definitely want to reach out when you have new relevant information like the six times that I've referenced. Keep in mind that depending on your grad year in this college's division, they may not be able to respond, but you may get invites to their prospect days and on-campus clinics, things like that. That's what's allowed through compliance. Now, if you send out a bunch of emails to college coaches and get invited to maybe 12 prospect days, a lot of players will use the platform to message those coaches, try to understand, one, are they recruiting your position for that year? And two, do you have the grades to get in? And you can copy your club coach who hopefully can help uh, figure that out so you can identify maybe the three or four prospect days to attend uh, of the 12 that you got invited to that, you know, obviously there's traction at the school. With the supply and demand of recruiting, it's very important to be proactive reaching out to the college coaches that you're interested in. Here, if I click on guide and come down, you can see we reference a study by the former Princeton president published in the New York Times around preferential admissions for recruited athletes. So again, 
Use lacrosse as a tool to get into a great school. And if you've been following the news with the Harvard admission scandal, you can see that you know using athletics can really help. Here, there is new legislation passed two years ago now that gives you more time to find that college match. So we used to have early recruiting in the sport. That's been pushed back, which is great. That gives you more time to build a track record so that when you do commit to a school, you have stronger confidence in being able to get through the admissions process and that the school is the right fit for you because your preferences as far as majors and et cetera will evolve throughout the process. Here you can see we actually show the supply and demand of lacrosse recruiting. Here you can see the number of high school players is growing very rapidly, where the number of D1 teams is fairly static. So again, we actually have some numbers here, whereas 40 players used to target D1 roster spots, now it's 55 for every D1 roster spot. So the key is that you just want to be proactive reaching out to those college coaches, not hoping that they're going to come find you. Higher your grades, the more schools that can recruit you. We saw early recruiting in lacrosse, just like basketball and football, despite vastly different scholarship and professional opportunities. Why? Because lacrosse is disproportionately great academic institutions, and you can use lacrosse as a tool to help get into those schools. Now let's review the process. First, you're going to build your target list of schools. The ways to do that is to come up to college matches. You can see we have a little questionnaire here. I'll just click see all teams. And then you can also filter down here on the left-hand side by conferences, majors, which we have GPA and test scores, etc. When you do find a school that you like, go ahead and click bookmark college at the top. That's going to add that school to your target list. You're also going to see here a little match icon. If you click on that battery, you can come down. And another way to find schools is have us recommend them to you. So if you fill out the above information, and again, if you need to add something, just click on this blue link. Then what we'll do is curate a list of schools that match you based on your test scores, your GPA, your majors of interest, are those offered by the college, athletic level, and preferences around size, cost, and distance from home. Once you have that list built, you can manage that on the bookmarks section. And what you can do is tier those one, two, or three, tier one being the schools you're most interested in. If you click on the pencil icon, you can also adjust little fit ratings here, as well as add tag notes about the school. And if you sign up through a club, then collaborate with that club coach uh, on your list. The key is that you want to bookmark the schools you're interested in so that if your club coach is speaking with a college coach, let's say on behalf of a goalie and the college coach says, hey, you know, what? I already have a goalie for that year. What I'm literally looking for is a face off or a draw specialist. Well, if you are at that position and you bookmark that school, that's going to be visible to your club coach so they can share your profile with that college. Once your list is complete, then you're going to want to make sure you complete your profile. So again, if you come into your dashboard, you can click those blue icons. Again, that's getting endorsements from your coaches, highlights of video into your profile. You can do that on the profile videos tab, events that you're attending. So the college coaches know where they can see you in person after they watch your video and then academics. So that could be adding transcript, test scores. Again, it may just be PSAT or any honors award, just like if you've been on honor roll or you received an award in class, anything will help get those sections complete. And that is gonna help you rank higher to college coaches searching in the recruit finder. So again, you wanna go from bronze to gold. And if I click here to academics, it'll take me to that section. And if I put in an ACT score and I come up to the top and click save. And so I don't have a grad year set, but now that's updated and you can see that little bronze to gold is done because I've completed it. Now I have a gold level profile. Next, you're gonna to wanna to start reaching out to college coaches. So to do that, you could come back down to bookmarks or if you know the school you wanna reach out to, you can come up here, type the name and just click message coach and then reach out to the college coaches and express your interest. And keep in mind, between all that, you just want to make sure you're updating your profile. If you get a new transcript, make sure you're getting that in there. New video, get that in there. Obviously, you want to keep the video and the profile fresh throughout the process. The cross recruiting is essentially supply and demand. College coaches have limited staff and resources. They can only go to so many events. They can only look at so many players. When your emails articulate an interest in the school and organize all your information in one place, and obviously are sent through the system so it integrates with their databases, they're more likely to take a look. Key thing to keep in mind is that this is why we have you message through the college profile so you can reference something specific about the school. This and ranking all the players from bronze to gold based on how complete their profile was recommended by the college coaches. Remember, be proactive and that playing college lacrosse at any level matters. 
Best of luck to all of you in the process. Thanks.